my dad and I always spoke about going to New Zealand one day together or doing Kilimanjaro or you know the like and I remember watching um, a documentary on Sherpas with him and I'm, I was really vivid I remember being sat there with him and he had a beer in one hand I had a cuppa and he looked at me and said oh we'll do that one day about base camp. I will be attempting to track Everest base camp on my own. Uh, it's something I wanted to do and my dad wanted to do since I can remember. I think having watched my dad struggle with bipolar, alcoholism and slowly kind of fade from being someone that thought that one day he would do it to almost kind of accepting in the back of his head that that wasn't something he was going to be able to do. I think is is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm really determined now to do it. My dad in five years was the ninth of now 14 young men that passed to suicide in five years just in my small village. I know that once I start it's going to not only be physically challenging, it will be emotionally challenging, but I think that he, he'd have just loved it. I started off having a target of uh, 500 and we hit that in the first 24 hours. I am thinking of putting the target to about 5,000 um, and hopefully seeing where we go from there in doing something like that takes away the sadness, I guess, from him not being able to anymore. At my dad's funeral, I had six of them say to me, well, we didn't know. We didn't know there was anything going on. Just talk, literally, and even to people who don't feel this way, it takes 10 seconds to just send a text and say, like, how, how, how are you? But then ask twice. I think one thing my dad used to say to me was that he never wanted to die, he just wanted it to stop. And I think that's a really Im important because it's, as I said, everything is temporary, but that decision is permanent. By completing the challenge, it's something that can help me not only like honor my dad and especially his friends too, that I know would have loved to have done that with him, but it will bring attention to the men in not only in my life, but those that might see the fundraiser or hear about it from, from their friends to start talking with the help of Movember. That's something that can change also and help contribute to raising our awareness and providing those that, that need that help, that first step up to doing so. It's a charity that I've followed for a long time. I, you know, I mean, I've even got stick on moustaches to take with me. So, and I'll probably be making everyone on that trek wear them. Mm -hmm.